Dr. Me, World War II veteran, um, 94 going on 74, yeah. uh, and his lovely wife Nancy, uh, we enjoy getting out and we take someone like Jack who served our country in World War II and uh, honor him as the Veteran of the Month in the New York 27th Congressional District, which covers eight counties, Jack. And uh, when we do something like that, it's great to have folks like yourself, I'm assuming most of you, maybe not all, are veterans in honoring the 100th, celebrating the end of World War I, 100 and, or, yeah, exactly 100 years ago. So, Jack, we've got a common congressional commendation for you. If you'd like to kind of hold that. Um, we also had a flag flown over the Capitol. We had a flag flown over the Capitol to honor your service in our country, something you can put on a bookshelf. Uh, that's why we made it in a little display case. We didn't want it hanging out on the front porch. Uh, but this is also uh, certifying that that flag was flown over the Capitol uh, in your honor. So with your friends here, because I know you're volunteering as well, uh, what better time to recognize the service of a World War II vet? Uh, we're losing them by the day. Uh, my dad was World War II. We lost him 10 years ago. But uh, there's usually one story after another that, uh, you know, when you share that, a, a gentleman that we honored here a few weeks back or last month, uh, we're now going to do his history. Because uh, so many times, Jack, that generation, they came home, you didn't talk about your service. You had to get on with your life. You had to get married. You had to raise a family, get a job. The war's behind you. But those stories are stories we should all remember. So there is a program now in Congress to get these stories memorialized in the Library of Congress so future generations aren't just reading about it in a history book, but actually can listen uh, to what happened, the stories that really happened. So, we thank you for your service. Thank you. And, and for those of you who are veterans, you also know how we have the, the uh, tradition of our challenge points. Um, I happen to have my challenge point here, and it's quite apropos. I'm a big scouter, Eagle Scout, my son's an Eagle Scout, but on the back of my coin, it's got the Scout Fleur de Lis with a Cub Scout motto that says, do your best, which you're all doing, and be prepared. And I'm assuming you're not running out of materials, so you are prepared. So you know how you do a challenge point. We'll shake hands, and that'll just show up there. So I want to share it. 